The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, and we're getting ready to head into the thrift store. I haven't been thrifting in seven days. And you know the old saying, seven days without thrifting makes one week. Thank you, I'll be here all week. Get it, week, it's a, it's a play on, you know what? Let's just go thrifting. All right, big money, big money, no whammies. All right, furniture half off, but we're not interested in furniture. I'm just adding something right away. It's this camouflage overalls. I don't know what it is about overalls that I love picking up. Is there a name? Please let it be a good name, not like Walmart or something. Mm. It's unbranded. Let's take a gander through the men's jeans. All right, they got me a chair waiting on me. That is perfect. Perfect. What are these? They look a little too worse for wear. Oh, there's some dance goes. Oh, look how worn they are right there, though. I like picking up dance goes. They usually go for pretty good moolah. Fan comfort. I've heard of fan comfort before. All right, we're gonna look those up. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, I wish I could find some Birkenstocks. I've never found them. Yeah, I usually find like Walmart, Kmart, or Target sandals. Fan comfort. 143. Someone has a pair for 49. They look like they sell pretty consistently. And these are only two. I'm gonna check them over a little bit closer just to be sure. But I think these may be a winner. Who are these? Levi's 505 shorts. We're gonna look at those. Oh wow, those are funky. That is New York style funky right there. All right, who makes them? Fly paper. Maybe a nothing burger, but we're gonna check it out. After looking at the comps, they're both duds. These. Who is this? Ak Acad Ak Today, Junior! Academics? I don't know, but we're gonna check these out. And then I found some Levi's Super Lows. I don't know if girls wear them that low nowadays, but they like they're in good condition. All right, I found a few pair of jeans I think I'm gonna pick up. I don't know a lot about jeans. That's a category I need to get better at. But we're gonna look through the dresses and then maybe some skirts. I don't know what else. And then we're gonna go hard goods hunting. And you guys know I don't usually go through a lot of clothing, but I haven't been finding really good hard goods. So I figure if I find some things that will flip for a little bit of a profit, I know I usually wanna get $40 an item for clothing. That ain't been happening. So we're just gonna see what we can buy low and sell high. They have a ton of dresses. I really need to get better with like labels, like the names and everything, because so many new clothing makers come out that have a really good following that I really know nothing about. Nothing. Most of the time I go by touch and then I check it out. But that can be deceiving. Sometimes you can feel something, look at it, and it's Shein or Southern Lady or Sag Harbor. Fooled ya. I like picking up overalls and short alls. I don't know why. I don't know why. That's really cute. Revolt. I've never heard of Revolt. French classic Revolt. All right, we're gonna look it up. Oh my word. Somebody has one for 75 on Depop, 87 on Etsy. It's vintage Revolt. Never heard of them. All right, so we're definitely getting the Revolt overalls for $3. And 
And then I found, what are these? Levi Super Low 518s. Is that 518? Yeah, 518s. The comps are good on it. Maybe $25, and they're three. And the academics look really good. They're only three. Now, the only problem, there is a rip right here. But honestly, I don't think that's going to matter. You could put a patch and, and hide that. But I think the graphics alone are going to sell them. I'm thinking maybe 50. Fingers crossed. And then I found some American Eagle. These are very baggy. And they look really good. They're men's. They're kind of worn, but I don't think guys really care about that. It does have the wide leg on them. They are three. And I'm thinking maybe 25. Once again, not the best when it comes to jeans. So I think that's a category we're going to have to learn. I think we need to do a deep dive in jeans. Yeah, and we can learn together. Maybe I'll do that for an upcoming video. All right, I think I found all the clothing I'm going to find. So now we're going to do some hard goods hunting. And I am crossing my fingers for some money makers. What is this? Is it a planter? Clay art. Oh, a tissue dispenser. That's so weird and unusual. I have to look it up. I can't find anything. I mean, it's cute and unusual, but I haven't always made the best decisions when I find something that's cute or unusual. It doesn't mean it's worth money. Sometimes it does, but not all the time. I've sold something like this before. This is 15. I didn't pay that much for it though. is really cool though and it looks like it might be vintage that's really cool looking okay i'm just curious because this could probably sell locally i mean it wouldn't be hard to ship either all right i like it so it's saying it's a vintage mid-century copper tone hanging light okay that one has the globe with it this one does not there's another one yeah, without the globe, maybe 35, and this is 15. If it had the globe, it'd probably be worth a little bit more, but it is pretty. Anything in the box intrigues me. What is that? I'm like a cat. I'm very curious. Oh, look at that. Very gothic. Oh, I love it. I love it. So it looks like it's from the 60s, and some are going for hundreds of dollars. Everything is there. I don't know if it works or not, but it's easy to test at home. Ten, we're definitely going to take a chance. All right, let me get this upstairs, and I'll be back for you. I promise. Okay, let's do some more hard goods hunting upstairs. Alrighty. And that's the reason why I like to look in boxes, because I don't break it. You know, last year we did a lot of candle hunting, and I still have a lot of candles in my candle closet, so I'm not looking for candles, but if you don't like spending a lot on candles, Go to the thrift store. I'm telling you, brand new candles, some that's only been burned maybe an hour, it looks like, and you get it for a dollar or two dollars. I just don't see why you wouldn't, because Bath and Body at $25. Oh, heck no! If you follow me on my other channel, you know I have a problem with overbuying and hoarding. And I have to say that since I've been cleaning my home out, I haven't been bringing excess junk in. When I go thrifting now, I thrift to resell. I try to get my mind into business mode that this is my job and that I'm not thrifting just to buy it because it's cute or it's cheap. Wow, a lot of pots and pans today. Let's see what we got. Of course, half the time when I find pots and pans at the store, they're in the worst condition. The worst. And I don't like to put a lot of effort into cleaning pots and pans unless I'm going to get a lot of money for them. 
spotted this bold one. It is extremely heavy, $10. And anytime the store marks up stuff, it gets me curious, not that they're always correct, but this is called Luray Pastels USA. There is some wear to it, but I do see where Replacements Limited, which is actually not too far from me, had one for sale. It was $180. I'm not seeing a mixing bowl for sale. Okay, I'm not seeing this size. The other ones are smaller and they're going for a lot of money. I don't know if that defect is going to matter. I mean, it was just, you know, when it was made, there is crazing. Uh, what should we do? What should we do? The comps look good on the Lorray Pastels. I've made worse decisions spending $10, so we're going to get it. And like I always say, we're either going to win or we're going to learn. We're going to be rich! Uh, here is the beautiful lamp we paid $10 for. A couple of the pieces of glass were loose. I just went ahead and just took those out. I'm going to have to take them out anyway when I get to cleaning them. But look at this. Very gothic, very mid-century modern. Look at all of the detail. And it is heavy. And the box says Light Craft of California Division of Newtone. And what's really cool is the shipping label, shipped July 30th, 1970. It came from California, well, obviously, because it's Light Craft of California. The declared value was $50. And now this booger is gonna be worth probably four times that much. Of course, that's only if this baby works. And I didn't realize it when I was looking at it, but it's actually just a hanging lamp chandelier thingy. It's not one you have to hardwire. You just plug it into the wall, which may make it even better when it comes to trying to sell it. That way someone doesn't have to get an electrician to hardwire it. Of course you could hardwire it if you wanted to, but the value goes downhill very quickly if it doesn't work. Fingers crossed. All right, drum roll please. <laughs> Oh, you're kidding me. It's not working. And I just put a bulb in it. Yeah, the wire's all hooked up correctly. N not like I would know. I'm not an electrician. Oh my gosh. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. There's a button down here. Let's see. Okay. Fingers crossed this works. It works. We have light. We have light. Oh, it works. Okay, let's see how it looks. Let me turn around and look. Oh, yeah. You know, if you were to put like an amber light or like an orangey light in there, how cool would that be? Oh my gosh. All right, the value just went through the roof. So when I look up Lightcraft of California on eBay, there are 55 results. Now, not all of them look like this, but all of them look like they're going for pretty decent money. And when I look at the sold comps, I see maybe, oh, how many would you say is this? There's quite a few on here that have sold. And there are some similar, there's some sconces, um, cathedral wall hanging. Some of these have like a uh, different color glass on them. Some are just a little bit shorter. I'm thinking personally, maybe of pricing this, I don't know, anywhere between $250 and $300, which sounds like a lot, but since I don't know how much it will sell for, I'm going to start it high and then just take offers. But I think this $10 is going to bring us some really great cha-ching. And the Luray Pastels, so beautiful, such a beautiful color of blue. I looked up this size and on Replacements website, I think they do have one left that they're selling for $135. Now, I don't know if I'll get that much for this one. It is in great condition. There is some crazing and there's a little bit of the pastel missing, which I'm sure was just done, you know, when it was manufactured. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal if someone collects this stuff, but I think maybe we could turn our $10 maybe into 75, maybe more. I got to do more research, but I do think this is a winner. This and the light for $10 each. Oh, 
I will take this all day, every day. And I get so much information from all of you telling me what I should pick up, what I should leave behind, and just history on different things. If you know anything about this kind of swag lamp or the Luray pastels, I would love to know more. I've researched some of it, but I know some of you, you also resellers, you deal in things like this. So I would love to know what your thoughts are on these two pieces and what would you price them at? In total, we spent $36.38. I'm hoping, hoping, because you know none of this is a real science. We really don't know how much things are gonna sell for. But if everything goes according to plan, maybe I could get anywhere between three to $400 on everything we picked up today. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you join the community. If you wanna check out my last video, I'll put it up here. And if you wanna check out the latest video on my second channel, I'll pop it right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one.